We also uh, redid all the shingles on the roof, and uh, the gutters have been redone. And as you can see, we're painting right now. Uh, also, the louvers and the bell towers have been redone with uh, new metal ones. They were wood before, and they were kind of falling apart. And the new metal louvers have an internal bird screen, so no animals can get into the bell towers. So that's uh, it's a big plus. So anyway, let's head into the addition quick. Uh, this is the new church addition. Um, we tried to architecturally match the existing church with the brick. Um, and the shingle roof is now the same shingle roof that's on the, uh, on the church. So that looks pretty similar. And then the interior finishes will match uh, once the inside of the church has been redone as well. Right here is going to be an elevator that will be able to go from this floor to the lower level. Um, the mention of the lower level is, uh, is clear out. The elevator is installed. It's just not working yet. Uh, we don't have our final inspections done. We're going to head on downstairs. So, uh, everything down here uh, got tore out in about February. Um, there was a, the floor was wood on the dirt, so everything that was in here got torn down to the dirt. Uh, then we put a new drainage system in for any water that comes in through the walls. Uh, you can see this yellow and black uh, mat on the walls. Any water that comes in will just go down the wall and then under the slab and out of a sump pump so that the basin will stay nice and dry. And the next step for down here is to uh, build it out at some point in the next five or ten years, kind of up in the air when that's happening. 15, 20. 15, 20, whatever. <laughs> and, and use it as a gathering area, uh, kind of a community area for after mass or uh, for hospitality or uh, your funeral lunches, I think is kind of the plan for down here. Um, and uh, with the next phase that's happening in the church, uh, over by these three windows and over by those three windows, there'll be uh, mechanical equipment that will air condition the upper sanctuary space. So, no more super hot masses. You heard that father? <laughs> the one who has to wear the, you know, the wool vest is real exciting. Um, so, when, when this space is built out, the walls won't be able to stay the way they are, just with how much water comes through, they'll have to have a... Uh, They'll have to be furred out and then have um, drywall put around them. Then they'll be painted. Uh, so I, I guess the best way to describe it would be get a very good look now. It's kind of cost prohibitive to keep them. We'd have to excavate around the entire church and waterproof from the outside. And that'd be kind of a misuse of funds almost you know, for, as, a, as a parish. But uh, hope, And then over there you can see some uh, plumbing stuff stuffed up. Uh, it's for an eventual catering kitchen and uh, bathrooms down here for when this becomes a gathering space.